Welcome back to the Red Dice Diaries. We're back after all the problems I had with my internet are now hopefully sorted. And in this RPG Bugbears video, I'm going to be talking about the use of mobile phones during RPG sessions. Now, this was part of a number of interesting suggestions that were made by Steve Uden in a Facebook message to me. So, thanks very much, Steve. And I'll be looking at some of his other suggestions, including the role of technology in RPGs in subsequent videos. However, this is about the use of mobile phones specifically during an RPG session. Now, there are times when keeping a mobile phone to hand and turned on during a session are necessary. For instance, if you're expecting an emergency call or perhaps uh, someone is ill or you're waiting for important news, and that's understandable. We all appreciate that real life has to come first over gaming. However, most, if not all, mobile phones have a discrete or a vibrate function on them. Having someone's mobile phone permanently going off continuously throughout the session or reminding them that they've received a text message can be extremely disrupting to a game, bringing everyone out of character. And to be honest, given the effort that your GM has no doubt put in, it can actually be quite rude. I would suggest that if a phone has a discrete setting that it be used. I work in an office in my day to day job and it's expected that everyone in there if they have their mobile phones turned on has it turned down to a discrete setting so as not to disrupt the working activities of other people. And I don't see why RPGs should be any different. Now that's not to say there aren't some potentially useful applications of mobile phones during a session because there are. There are a number of apps that can prove useful. I have a couple of dice rolling apps, a World of Darkness one and a Fate dice rolling app on my own mobile phone. But continually fiddling or messing about with the phone should be discouraged during a session unless for some reason your character is entirely absent from a particular scene and is not actively involved then if you feel the need and you're not disrupting anyone else I would have no personal problems with someone looking on their mobile phone checking their text messages etc all I would say is that if you're not the only one absent from the scene of a role playing game perhaps engage your other characters in a bit of I see banter, maybe flashback and play out a few conversational scenes on the journey to the dungeon or whatever. Something that keeps you all immersed in the game and gives you something to do rather than looking at your mobile phone, checking your texts, etc. An activity that takes you very much out of the game. And because you've not been really listening to what's been going on, when the GM does get to, to wrap up the little bit he's doing with the other players, turns to you and says, so what do you think about that or how are you getting involved? Nine times out of ten in my experience, the person who's been looking at their phone will have to say, oh, sorry, what was going on again? And the GM will then have to backtrack and explain what the scenes that he's just gone through, wasting valuable time during a session. And as we said at the start, real life obviously takes priority and we unfortunately, despite our best efforts, only have a limited amount of time in any one period to role play a session since everyone's normal lives intrude and you try and fit it around that as best you can. So what I would suggest is if you're taking your mobile into a session then either turn it off if you're not going to need it. If you are going to need it for any reason whether that's you're expecting an emergency call, you have some real life issues, or just because you're using some dice rolling apps or other apps that the GM's okay with you using, then switch the ringer off, turn it on to vibrate. The GM will no doubt appreciate the effort that you've taken not to disrupt the setting and make sure that you don't unnecessarily fiddle or check your mobile constantly during the session. Certainly when I'm using my own mobile with the dice apps, I put it down on the arm of the chair next to me and unless I'm asked to make a dice roll which is normally fairly rarely since I generally try and role play through as many situations as possible without recourse to the dice then I leave it alone. When the GM asks me for a dice roll I pick it up, click the dice rolling app, show the GM the result, 
and put it back down again. And that seems to work fairly well for me. It certainly results in minimal disruption to the session. So that's my opinion on mobile phones within sessions. They can be a very useful tool and they can be a necessary interference if real life issues are in play. However, they can also prove disruptive and just plain old rude if they're not handled sensibly and the necessary precautions aren't taken to ensure that they don't interrupt the immersion and the flow of a session. So let me know what you think about the use of mobile phones in the session. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on like and subscribe to this channel. We put out new videos every Wednesday when my internet's working. And until I see you next time, I look forward to reading what you write. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Take care.